Do you find it difficult to differentiate between the three common species of snail? Well, I welcome you to case scenario. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily identify the three common species of snail. Thank you for watching my videos always. And if you are new here, I wish you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the notification bell so that you get notice of all my videos coming up next. We are here to educate and inform you on how you can have effective and successive snow farming. We are going to base our identification on three common features. We are going to talk about their shell, the content, and their eggs. So the three common um, type of snow we are going to talk about is the AA, which is the Akatina Akatina. We are also going to talk about AM, that is the Akatina Marginata, and we are also going to talk about the AF, which is the Akatina Flika. So we are going to start on the Akatina Akatina. That is the AA. You can bear with me that even for the same Akatina Akatina, we are having two types of uh, shell design. Yes, and this is based on the environmental condition and their diet. So let's talk about the shell. One thing you can easily identify on a Katina Katina is that it has brownish and yellowish striped color. It has a conical shell. They are very broad and large. A Katina Katina can grow up to 20 centimeters. That is about 8 inches in their length. So this is how you can identify them by their shell. We talked about three different features. You can see that they are pointed. That is, they have a chronicle shell. They have yellow and brownish strip colors. They are very broad and large. So just keep notes of these features. That is only for the shell. Let's talk about the content, that is their meat. You can see that the surface of their meat is very rough. It is beautifully designed with white and black spots. So the white color is, or the gray color, the, the, the gray color dominates more than the black and they are very rough if you scratch your hands on it it is very rough it's not smooth when you turn it like this you can see it has a pink color here and it is also part of the designed feature of the shell Let's get to their eggs. Among the eggs you see here, the tiny ones are for the Akatina Akatina. They lay plenty eggs. So usually they are having a tiny eggs. I mean, their eggs are very small in size. So the size of their eggs you see here determines the size of their new hatchlings. 
let's also talk about the AM. That is a Akatina Marginata. So as I said earlier, you can also see that these two Akatina Marginata, they are having two different types of shell. And as I said before, this is due to the environmental conditions and their diet. So when we look at their shell, we can see that Akatina Akatina is very large and broad, same as the Akatina Akatina, but they do not have a chronicle shell. The sh their shell is somehow white and gray strip. They are very he heavy. You see that they have some white outer lit, uh, lip. When you also turn inside, you can see they have a deep pink color, same as the Akatina Akatina. So that is all for the shell. Let's go to their contents, that is their meat. They also have rough surface of the meat. And it is dark, very dark in color. And if you, if you feel the attesta, you can tell that it is not smooth. They're very very rough and that is the content looking at the eggs in here the bigger ones are for the akatina marginata this type of eggs uh, snails can lay about 4 to 20 snail uh, eggs so they have bigger size as compared to the AA. So the size of their eggs determines their new hatchlings. The last but not the least, we are also going to talk about the Akatina Fulica, that is the AF. This type of snails share little bit similarities with the AA. Just that this type of snails, they are not as big as the AA. But you can see they have chronicle shells. They have white and dark coffee color stripped. The difference between this one and the AA is that when you turn over like this, you cannot see a pink color just like the AA. So even though they look similar, that is one of their greatest difference. Let me show you what I mean. You see that the AA has a pink color here, but the AF do not have such. So you can easily identify them with that. And then again, you can see that the Akatina Fulica has a content to be very smooth. It has very smooth content as compared to the Akatina Akatina and the Akatina Fulica.
sorry, Akatina Marginata. So the Akatina Akatina has white and black spots, but the Akatina Fulica is very smooth and dark. So you can use this smaller, uh, these differences to differentiate the Akatina Akatina and the Akatina Flicker, but their shell almost look the same. Their shell almost look the same. Uh, but one big difference is that the Akatina Flicker do not have the pink color here. Just as the Akatina Akatina. So you can identify them so easily. You can identify them by their meat or their uh, uh, content. And you can also identify them by their size. You can also identify them by their shell. That is the pink color here is a big difference. Thank you once again for watching my video and I wish this video will be more educative for you to easily identify the signals. So kindly comment for me to have your idea and say on this video and like the video for me. Thank you very much. Stay blessed.